Hey guys, this is Bharadwaj with Phonarena.com and this is the Butterfly S that we recently unboxed. So it's a top-end phone with top-end specs. It has a quad-core Snapdragon 600 processor and is an evaluation of the HTC Butterfly with the original 5-inch 1080p screen. So it also has a new element, I mean different from the Butterfly and that is the camera. The camera on the back is a 4MP ultra pixel unit that is very similar to the one on the HTC One. So in fact it's exactly the same uh, without uh, optical image stabilization and HAAC audio recording. So that's the only differences between the HTC One and the HTC Butterfly S's camera. So 4MP ultra pixel unit, 2 micron pixel size enabling it to take really good low light shots or so they say and of course you have f2.0 lens which again benefits for low light conditions you also have a single led flash which for a low light camera is probably slightly less useful but we'll see about that this phone can also record full hd 1080p videos in normal as well as hdr mode we'll see about that how it works and how it actually uh, looks in terms of video samples we also have taken a lot of daylight, macro, low light and HDR photo samples to show you. So let's show you what the camera interface is like. HTC has massively reorganized and redesigned their camera UI. So let's see what it looks like. This is the camera button here and opening up you can see that the camera interface is pretty minimal with decent amount of controls. So going through it, uh, you have the zoom slider which obviously lets you zoom into the picture. This is a 4 megapixel sensor so you, you obviously don't want to zoom. The digital zoom is going to be crap. The top right is the thumbnail for direct access to the gallery. And uh, you can obviously autofocus on the uh, viewfinder with a tap. You can take a picture by a single click and a burst of pictures by long pressing on it. Uh, this is the video shutter button which instantly takes a video with the preset that is set inside the settings which we will see. So it directly goes into the video and shoots a video. You can also take a photo while recording a video. So over at the bottom right you have live filters with lots of uh, colorful options and uh, adjusting effects. The slider for adjusting the effects. This is a vignette and uh, you have a lot of other color filters and uh, the various filters that you usually see uh, you know typical to Instagram but these are more uh, manipulative effects that uh, not not exactly filters you have uh, various effects like solarize negative and whatnot warm cool so everything these are not actually that useful but yeah the, they are filters and they are live so you can take a look at them and over at the top left you have the flash camera uh, toggle so automatic off or on those are the three options and this is uh, one of the marquee features of the HTC cameras and that is HTC Zoe mode so clicking on that will take you directly to the Zoe mode this is a widescreen uh, mode that will take three seconds of video and a simultaneous burst of pictures so that you can later manipulate them to any way you want that is the special functionality of Zoe and when you hit the shutter button it will start recording in a red bar 3 seconds and the video is done. So it's actually v uh, video and JPG saved together. So these will be editable and we will show you that later. So that's the Zoe mode and you can quickly change back to the normal mode with the same toggle. And then you have the all important settings that has every setting to change with respect to photos as well as videos so you can switch between the front and the main camera the front camera is a 2 megapixel unit and is wide angle that is also uh, a backside illuminated sensor so it's pretty good and the photo capture modes there you can see that there are five main modes you have scene which is normal and you have a ton of uh, modes let me show you that normal portrait landscape and a lot more so you can choose between the scenes with the first toggle then you can switch to the night mode 
then the hdr sweep panorama and anti shake mode the anti shake mode just uh, waits for you to hold your mobile steady and then takes a photo and then you have video capture scenes which range from normal slow motion video slow motion video is 768 by 432 uh, resolution uh, with 120 fps fast hd is 720p 60 fps and video hdr is full hd we'll take a look at the samples later and then of course you have other uh, options like self timer crop video quality review duration iso white balance continue continuous shooting and uh, things like uh, face detection, geotagging, and even shutter options. You can also lock focus in video before recording. So in case you don't want to do continue focus, continuous autofocus, you can do that and you can also turn the grid on or off. So that's the really simplistic setting screen of the HTC camera app. So let's talk about the uh, photo performance now. We shot a lot of photos in various conditions including daylight, macro, low light and even HDR video and photos. So let's talk about them one by one. In terms of daylight performance, uh, we saw that there was a lot of detail missing in the photos. So mainly uh, we think that the 4MP sensor is not really uh, enough for a lot of detail. Uh, for example, there are so many objects in the photo, you should expect less detail from the camera. But then exactly opposite to this performance is macro. As you can see even from the viewfinder right here, this is almost a macro shot. Macro shots turn out pretty well on the butterfly as since there is not much detail to capture, the compression algorithms don't uh, compress the picture that much. So you get a lot of detail and the macro shots look absolutely beautiful thanks to the f2.0 aperture with the silky smooth bokeh and then we have the hdr mode the hdr mode is special so uh, what it does is takes three photos in different exposures and combines them with a tone mapping algorithm and saves the photo so uh, like what we are doing here this is a hdr photo which takes a different exposures so this is not exactly an ideal condition but when the sun is exactly facing you, you being the camera, the metering is so harsh for small sensors, it's, uh, it's definitely underexposed all the time. So we took two samples with HDR and without HDR and we thought that the HDR mode was really good, really advantageous unlike other cameras which sort of fake the HDR by taking brighter photos. So yeah, as you can see there is a lot of difference between the with HDR and without HDR. We also noted that in normal daylight shots, concentrating on the brighter light source makes the metering so harsh that the overall image is underexposed. So that might be a reason that the HDR is so different from the normal photo. But still we think the HDR mode on the butterfly S is good. So if you are able to keep the phone almost steady for you know just under a second, then you can probably use the HDR mode always because that obviously makes the results better. So now moving on to video, we have full HD video recording at 30 FPS with stereo audio recording and the audio is also quite good. We think the video performance is also really good and uh, you know with less sh sharpening and uh, good quality of color and good quality of exposure. So take a look at the full HD 1080p video sample here. And now we come to low light mode which is obviously the most important aspect of this camera because the ultra pixel is made for low light. So let's see how it performs in low light. We have got a number of samples here so take a look at them first then we'll talk about it. Some of the low light samples are really good. For example this photo has really nice details and just the small sodium vapor lamp being the light source here. And even in very darker photos that we took earlier it showed up a lot of information when even the normal eyes couldn't see. So this photo is one such example where you can see a lot of detail which the normal human eyes couldn't perceive. And then there were these samples where the photo was exactly sharp and fine. So this is very nicely lit, the building in the night 
and this photo was one of the very good examples of the ultra pixel camera but then there were also these other photos in which the HTC Butterfly S didn't perform so well they were a lot noisier than these photos and we think the OAS unit or the lack thereof was uh, heavily impactful on these low light photos we think the HTC one could have done a lot better in those scenarios so other than that we tested out the normal low light mode and the uh, night mode of the camera by taking two pictures of the minion in a long shot so here is the here are the two pictures as you can see from this picture you have a slight pink shade added to it and a lot of noise to the picture so the noise uh, compression is a bit little overdone and the pink cast behind the doll is pretty obvious on the auto mode but that gets eliminated in the night mode as you can see a lot less pink in this photo but there is a lot more noise and aggressive noise reduction done in this photo to reduce the detail but this is extreme low light and we are still happy to see that the butterfly has coped really well there, there was certainly not this amount of light in real so this is uh, probably easily the advantage of the butterfly as camera and that is low light so now let's discuss about video video recording has many modes on the butterfly s as we saw earlier so we took two video samples one in normal and one in video sdr the video sample is actually quite good in normal as well as sdr the normal video sample uh, in full hd uh, is obviously quite good with good audio recording too in stereo so we thought that the video mode was uh, pretty good without a lot of sharpening and whatnot but the video sdr is pretty interesting it starts if you noticed uh, with uh, three different exposures if you notice by pausing the video it has three different exposures and then it combines them to make the str video which looks quite different from the normal video it's very balanced in terms of exposure and we re we really like that stc has done something good with the str mode so even in photos as well as videos we think the str mode is a probably a standout feature on the butterfly s so that concludes our HTC Butterfly as camera review. We think that the 4 megapixel is probably a misstep in terms of capturing detail because higher the megapixel, higher the detail. That's the rule. Uh, it's not going to help in uh, you know being better at low light conditions. The Butterfly S is obviously better at low light conditions than other cameras, but there are a lot more ways to do it. Like for for example, how Nokia does it with optical image stabilization and oversampling. So probably HTC could try that later but for now the butterfly S for the price of 52k might not be that impressive in terms of camera but definitely if you are buying it or if you have already bought it use the HDR mode on photos as well as videos that's probably going to be the best results you get from this camera and don't forget Zoe which we will detail in a completely different video. So that's it for the camera review of the butterfly S. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed it, do hit the like button and do hit the subscribe button for more videos like these. Thanks for watching again and let us know what you think in the comment section below.